When you're playing poker, do you ever get confused whether or not you're getting the right price or the right odds to make a profitable call with your drawing hands? I know it can seem really confusing with the outs and the pot odds and the equities, and I am here to tell you a simple way how to calculate this in seconds when you're in game. Hey guys, I'm Lexi Gavin Mather, professional poker player and coach, and here's my story. I started playing poker recreationally in college. I was studying to become a lawyer and I was just playing online, playing some home games with some friends. And I realized that I was actually, you know, be able to make a little bit of extra side money for party supplies or food for the week or whatever it was uh, I was seeing in the dough coming in. So I really enjoyed playing and I'll never forget, I was doing a summer study at Oxford in England and I it was right before I was going to be taking the LSATs to become a lawyer and I was at a crossroads. I was like, do I continue down this law route or do I try this poker passion of mine and see if I can actually make this a full-time career. And I'm so glad that I went the poker route. Not that there's anything wrong with being a lawyer, that would have been a really nice stable job, but poker has given me a level of freedom, financial stability. I made more money as a poker player than I believe I would have as a lawyer. Um, and it's amazing because I got to play a game that I love for a living. So I know that a lot of you are probably, uh, you know, recreational players and just want to make a little bit of extra money as a side hustle, or some of you might be considering going pro. Well, I'm here to help you. I realize that as much as I enjoy playing and c competing in the game, I love helping people achieve this, you know, a level of financial freedom and, and freedom to be your own boss and, uh, yeah, so I am here to help you down your poker path. Um, I do have a course that you can sign up for at LexiGavinMather.com. You can also visit the description box below if you want to take your game to the next level. The course is more of a transformation. I know that a lot of the poker courses out there, uh, you know, they're kind of, there's a lot of information and a lot of people don't know where to start or what order to go in. Uh, this course will transform you. It'll start from the basics and it'll work its way up to a little bit more complex strategies. So if you are interested, make sure to check that out. All right, before we get into the how to calculate your pot odds and equities and all that stuff, please hit the like, subscribe and follow. And let me jump over to my computer so that I can show you better what I'm talking about. Let's talk about outs. So an out is an unseen card that will improve or complete a hand. So for example, say we have Jack nine on the queen eight four flop. Well, here we have a gut shot, right? So any 10 will give us a straight. So there are four tens in the deck. So we have four outs. So another example, we have nine of spades, eight of spades on the ace of spades, king of spades, four of diamonds. So we have a direct flush draw, right? We know that there's 13 spades in the deck, right? Total, like there's 13 of each suit because there's 52 cards in the deck. There's 13 hearts, 13 diamonds, 13 spades, and 13 clubs. Well, when we're holding two in our hand and there's two on the board, well, we know that there's nine spades left in the deck. So we have nine spades to complete our flush. So we have nine out. So our third example is an open-ended straight draw. So we have seven, six on the king, five, four flop. So we know that we have four eights and four threes to complete our straight, right? So therefore we have eight outs total. Now let's talk about outs and the rule of four and two. So basically we need to figure out how much equity our hand has based on our outs. This is an easy way to calculate equity when you're in game. So all you do is on the flop, you count the number of outs you have and you multiply it by four and that's how much equity you have to complete your draw. So going back to this example over here with our outs. So let's look at the flush draw example. So we have nine spades to complete our flush. So we have nine outs, nine times four on the flop is 36. So we have 36% equity to complete our draw. 
So say now we missed the turn and now we're on the turn and we need to figure out how many outs and how much equity our hand has of completing our draw by the river. All you do is you take your outs and you multiply it by two because instead of two cards to come, now you only have one card to come. There's only the river. So going back to that example, the we still have nine spades, so our outs didn't change, but now instead of multiplying our outs by four, we multiply them by two. So we have, so that's 18. So we have 18% equity to complete our flush by the river. So let's look at this example here with the gut shot straight. So on, with jack nine on the queen eight four, again, any 10 will give us a straight. So we have four outs. So on the flop, four times four is 16. So we have 16% equity to hit our 10. Say we missed the, the turn and now we're on the turn and we wanna see how many, you know, what our equity is to complete our gut shot by the river. Well, it's four times two, which is eight. So you have 8% chance of winning by the river. So going back to when we were talking about pot odds earlier, let's look at this example again. So the pot size is $600 and the bet size we're facing is 200. The new pot size is $800. So our pot odds are 800 to 200, which simplifies to four to one, which means our hand needs 20 percent equity. Remember this little chart here? So when we're getting four to one odds, our hand needs 20% equity. Well, going back to our example earlier, when we have a flush draw and we have nine spades to complete our flush, nine times four is 36. Well, we have 36% equity on the flop to hit our draw. So if we're in a situation where we're getting four to one odds and we need 20% equity, but with our flush draw, we have 36% equity. Now we know that we're able to make that profitable call, right? We can call the $200 to win because we are the right price. We have 36% equity and we only need 20% equity to make a profitable call. All right, guys, I hope you have a better understanding of how to calculate your pot odds, your equity, uh, and your outs. Uh, if you do like this video and if, it, if you think that it helped you, please hit the subscribe, like, follow all of the buttons. It really helps me out. And if you do want to sign up for my course, check out the description box below and go visit or go visit LexiGavinMather.com. I hope to see you on the inside. Otherwise, I'll see you guys on the next lesson. Bye.